has his professional debut and win. So he starts professional in the win column. Up next, our Ladies main and event. Ladies gentlemen, it's time for our main event. These bouts are conducted under the authority of the Arizona Boxing and MMA Commission. Executive Director, Danny A. Vela. Chairman, Scott Fletcher. Our main event is a 147 pound welterweight matchup. Making his way to the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, out of Sassapropa USA Muay Thai Gym in Clovis, California, Andrew Rivera! Andrew AR15 Rivera. Uh oh, like the name. Like the name as well. Been training in Muay Thai for 20 years. 20 years this man has been training in Muay Thai. That's more than some of our viewers have been alive. Yeah. He said he's got more of a Muay Mat, which is a, it's a more boxing style of, of Muay Thai that favors the hands. He says he's got a lot of experience at 21, 24, and one as an amateur. His opponent making his way to the ring and fighting out of the red corner. Out of Zayveth in Phoenix, Arizona, Antonio Martinez! Why don't you go to take this one? You know this kid. Antonio Martinez, man, he's been at it for a long time. Great amateur career. 70 plus fights. Younger brother, Leandro, um, opened up the car tonight for all of us and um, won his title. I'm interested to see, uh, you know, what he's going to bring to the show tonight because the opponent is game. He's long, he's lanky. He's coming out of a great gym. This, is, this should be some fireworks. This should be some fireworks. Like I said, he's got 70 plus amateur fights with boxing bouts on top of that. The man is well seasoned. He's been very, very, very busy. I've been able to do a little bit of work with him in the past also. In his younger years, he's grown since then, mentally, emotionally, physically. But as he says, he grew up watching his, uh, his dad compete in MMA and Muay Thai. And that gave him the you know, the urge to give it a shot. Yeah, his dad actually Ladies used to fight on a, a bunch of cards with me back in the day. This event professional 147-pound welterweight belt Damn, I'm is sponsored old. by the SAA Alliance. SAA Alliance is a nonprofit organization that promotes Southeast Asian arts, including Muay Thai, Muay Lao, and Kun Khmer, and other traditional arts from the Southeast Asian region. Ladies and gentlemen, out of the blue corner, fighting out of Sassaproba USA Muay Thai Gym in Clovis, California, Andrew Rivera! And his opponent fighting out of Zyveth in Phoenix, Arizona, out of the right corner, Antonio While the ceremonies are taking place, I will go ahead and shout out SAA Alliance. I got other uh, sponsors on the card that I'd love to uh, give a shout out to. Uh, Gila River Hotel and Casinos, Wolf Off-Road, Gloves Up, Guns Down, TSI Events, MMA Stalker, Sayaveth. And Glaze. As always, Jab Media is always on the list. Calmness and stillness in the air. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all it's about. It's always a, a, a dangerous, scary thing, right? Well, I think uh, this is going to 
will be a main event to remember. Muay Thai is alive and well in Arizona. Ceremonies didn't take as long as uh, some others. I think the local is the favorite. See the, the build and him and his little brother are the same, just long and lanky. Here we go, folks. Main event. A big difference in the uh, leg shape and size between these two. Rivera a little bit uh, a little bit thicker downstairs. Rivera I've seen fight quite a bit also. Um, he's, a, he's scrappy. He'll get his timing down. Then he'll start letting loose. Andrew is very, very long. What did you guys clock in at? Little overhand from red corner. Both guys really taking their time, feeling each other out. I think he was just waiting yep. to explode. Nice knee on the inside. His definitely landed with more impact when he did land. Antonio's definitely waiting on the ropes to lean back and counter with an elbow. Good sway back. This is experience versus youth. But you would think both guys had the same amount of experience, you know what I mean? Both guys are kind of fighting at the same pace. A lot of these, a lot of these tie fighters start slow, especially those of us that are used to fighting five round fights, they tend to start a little bit slow. But when you're doing non time five round fights, you gotta jump on it, you gotta get going. Less than 30 seconds left here in the first round. Good timing on the head kick. Rivera is just forced to reach in. Is that something you don't want to be doing? Ooh, he is right. Ooh, he is right. Good first round. Like I said, a very long feeling out process. A little slow to the start. But I think Rivera's they've got six minutes left to decide who's going to win this thing. Rivera's just, just trying to figure out that range. Well, when you're fighting a guy that, you know, can touch you from across the ring. Exactly. It's, it's not easy. Some replay of the action here. A miss on the head kick. A little slip there. You know, he's Antonio so long, Rivera needs to, you want to go to the body on a guy like that, but when elbows are coming over the top of your head, it's, it, it becomes dangerous. So if he's going to do it, he's got to be in and out very quick.
one of those things that could be very tricky is fighting a very long guy. Something I'm sure all your opponents have to deal with. I've always been the taller, the taller guy in, in my weight class for sure. Especially at 145, I'm, I'm glad I'm not cutting that much anymore. 153, I'm still the bigger guy in, in that division for glory. The crowd chants Antonio. All right. <laughs> All right. A little slow start to that uh, second round. I guess so. Again, both guys kind of just pick up where they left off. The guy in the crowd is right. You definitely want to be first. Antonio's legs are so long. I, I don't. I don't know why he's just establishing kicking range weapons and just staying at that range. Kick, 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 kick. There we go. There's one. Well, he's not really utilizing the the fronts, the front kicks, the teeps. He's got a lot of weapons at his disposal, and it seems like he's waiting on Rivera. Good knee. I think he was looking for a dump there. It didn't materialize. Rivera's just gonna have to. He's gonna suck, bite down on the mouth. Suck it up and, and just start start swinging. Throw some caution to the wind. Might hit him in the twig. I think that's exactly what happened. <laughs> They timed it perfectly. My favorite is when they catch, wait a second, and then do yeah. it. Yeah. Rivera didn't try to fight out of it. There's an explosion here from Antonio. Neither guy really working the knees. Which I'm surprised Antonio's not. He's so long. Well, the ref did. You saw that and he got in there. Ooh, he is correct. Less than 10 seconds left here in the second round. These rounds are becoming harder and harder to score. Yeah. The further we go on. Waiting to see some elbows from Antonio. Those long, lanky arms. Of I mean, he can get them up and over, no problem. And Rivera, like you said, just he's going to have to bite down on the mouthpiece to make yeah, something happen. Yeah, he's going to have to bite down and throw caution to the wind to start slinging leather across the ring. 
I mean, I wouldn't mind a flying Some. tornado elbow or something, you know? <laughs> just start spinning towards I him. I mean, yeah, just go. At this point, you got to make something happen. Because this is it's too close for both of these guys. If I'm being frank. Got to go out of the bang. We have to. I think you're right. I think there are two minutes. That or someone's just messing up, sleeping on the job. But, <laughs> you know, commission guys have been doing pretty well. Judges have been doing pretty well. They've been pretty spot on with everything, I feel like. I just think everyone is so conditioned and used to the 60 seconds. Yeah. You know? All right, here we go. The third and final round. Antonio Rivera versus, sorry, Andrew Rivera versus Antonio Martinez. We've kind of picked up where we left off in round two. Rivera being a little bit more aggressive. Antonio is just looking to counter, wait, wait, counter, counter. And he, he's been doing pretty well and makes uh, Rivera miss, and then that's when he picks his shots and goes in. It's just that uh, Rivera's not doing that too often. Well, and Rivera's throwing. Kick, kick, kick. See? He just threw two kicks. Step in knee. Good evasion on the head kick. Things are getting a little bit busier in this matchup. Well, and now Antonio's coming forward. It's definitely got to be hard fighting such a tall guy. Good little combination, two body, low kick. Well, when Antonio comes forward, he's still finding success. Rivera trying to make something happen. He's trying, for sure, without a doubt. He's not sitting back at all. 30 seconds left in the third and final round of this main event. Things are starting to heat up here. Oh, were we looking for a takedown yeah. there? He is about to set him flying. <laughs> 15 seconds left. And really, I feel that this still could be anybody's fight. The more significant shots and sequences were landed by Antonio, but Rivera was a little bit busier overall. He was he was pressuring, he was trying, he couldn't get much going. It's, it's tricky fighting such a tall guy like that. You just don't want to run into one of those elbows and get caught and, you know, your night's done with.
And as I suspect that the scorecards are taking quite a bit. I think it was a lot closer than uh, Antonio's entourage here. Would like yeah, to you don't. You get a big crowd yelling and, and you know, things are missing and they're still going, whoo, you know, hopefully it doesn't persuade the judges into something that's really not there. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately in this, any combat sport that can happen. Hopefully uh, Natalie Bird's not here. <laughs> Who you got? I got it. 28-28, 30-30. I got a draw, it was that close, but I'm gonna go grab the the winner and then we'll circle back and uh, sign off. Ladies and gentlemen, this one goes the distance as well. Judge Molly Goop scores the bout 29-28 for Rivera. Judge Nate Myler scores the bout 29-28 for Martinez. Judge Tolly Jean scores the bout 30-27 for your winner by split decision out of the red corner, Antonio Martinez! All right, I am here with your winner, Antonio. That was a chess match. That was a chess match. Did that fight go the way you intended it to? Uh, I did not. I mean, it was a good fight. I expected to do a little bit better. Hats off to my opponent, though. Didn't make it easy at all, so go back to the drawing boards Monday, get back to it. All right, you had a lot of support in this building. What does Antonio want next? I'm, I want whatever. <laughs> I just want to fight, man. I want to fight and get better every fight, and that's what I will do. All right. What does this win mean I'll to you and your gym and, and your family? This crazy it means a one. lot. I haven't fought Thank in front you. of all my friends and family in forever. You can hear it. It's, it's crazy in here. <laughs> I want to give Vin a shout out and Rough MMA for putting it on. It means a lot to me. It was a great event, and you were a great main event contestant. Thank you very much, Thank you. and congratulations on the win.